Okay, I'll just do one. Here, here it is. So, uh, you have two cycles, one, two, three, and then four, six. Okay. And you're asked to uh, rewrite that in uh, the standard bracket form, like this, yeah, with uh, two rows. Yeah. Standard bracket form. All right. Uh, now look, um, this uh, it belong it belongs to S of six. Okay. So uh, write each of the following products of disjoint cycles in S six okay, uh, in this notation, full in bracket notation. Okay. Now. Uh, we can rewrite this as 1 goes to 2, 2 goes to 3, and 3 goes to 1. Now we've got, we're going to have 6 elements, so 4, 5, and 6, and we'll have something similar here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, now um, when you have a, a cycle like this, and you know uh, it belongs to, you know, each of these two cycles belong, they're, they're, they are each permutations of S6, uh, the convention is those uh, uh, members, object, uh, like, like here, 4, 5, and 6, are not mentioned. So they, uh, by convention, they just transform unchanged. All right. So 4, 5, 6 not mentioned here, so just write them down unchanged. Now 4 goes to 6, 6 goes to 4, there's no mention of 1, 2, or 3, or 5, so they all just go unchanged. Right. Okay, now, now we can just multiply these two that we're used to, and again remember the one on the right is uh, the one you start with usually, probably a good habit to get into. Uh, right, so so the right hand one first, so 1 goes to 1, 1 goes to 2, so the net effect is 2. 2 goes to 2, 2 goes to 3. You know, let me run this all out first. Okay. So uh, the right hand one first, 2 goes to 2, 2 goes to 3, so that goes 3. Okay. 3 goes to 3, 3 goes to 1, the net effect is 1. 4 goes to 6, 6 goes to 6. 5 goes to 5, 5 goes to 5. 6 goes to 4, 4 goes to 4. Right? So there's, 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 there's your answer. So this is just this in full in bracket uh, bracket form. Uh, so let me check the answer again. I don't want to make mistakes. So what is that? 7, 7 part 1. 7.1231654231654. Good. Alright. Uh, okay, question 8, the first part. Uh, write each of the following permutations in S7 as the product of disjoint cycles. Ooh, okay, so this is a multi-part question in a sense. Uh, you have to do several things, right? So uh, here, so you've got a product of cycles three, four, seven, one, three, two. Okay, now this this will be a longer one, right? This this will this will take some time. Uh, okay, so so you, you have to re, you know, rewrite this, re express it differently, so that it becomes a product of disjoint cycles. Now look, uh, here you've got one and two and one and two in common. You've got a three in common here. This is definitely not in the form of a product of disjoint cycles because this is not disjoint from that, and this one's not disjoint from that. So we're going to have to. Well, what, what will we do? Well, we're going to have to. Convert this into this form. So convert this into um, the bracket form, right? And then once we've got that, we then uh, do this kind of thing, right? So it's a two-step, two-step process. All right. 
Uh, okay, so we're talking about um, three three uh, permutations. So, and uh, this, the whole thing belongs to what? S of seven. Right? So we have we now have seven objects in the set that we're permuting. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Uh, so one goes to two. Two goes to one. All the others aren't mentioned, so just write as is. No change. Okay. Now this one, three goes to four. Four goes to seven. 7 goes to 3. And all the others not mentioned here, so just you know, take them down, no change. All right. uh, 1 goes to 3. 3 goes to 2. 2 goes to 1. All right. the, other, the other 4 not mentioned, so just copy them. 5, 6, 7. All right. Now, uh, a bit tedious, but uh, okay. Now again, start with the right hand, then that one, then that one. So first permutation, second permutation, third. Okay, uh, easy to make mistakes here, so pay attention, <laughs> talking to myself. Okay, one goes to three, three goes to four. Oh, let me write all these so I don't have to. Four, five, six, seven. Okay, uh, by the way, I use I use the continental European seven as distinct from the one. That's a habit I picked up uh, living in Europe for many years. Okay, so uh, one goes to three, three goes to four, four goes to four. So one goes to four. Two goes to one, one goes to one, one goes to two. 3 goes to 2, 2 goes to 2, 2 goes to 1. Hmm? 4 goes to 4, 4 goes to 7, 7 goes to 7. Uh, okay, 5, 5 goes to 5, 5 goes to 5, 5 goes to 5. Okay, 6, 6 goes to 6, 6 goes to 6, 6 goes to 6. Uh, now, that's interesting. See, uh, there's no mention of 6 here in the whole thing. So, you know, your 6 will... And similarly with 5. So 5 and 6 will just uh, be non-converted. They'll, they'll just uh, map to themselves. Okay, 7. seven. 7 goes to 7, 7 goes to 3, and 3 goes to 3. Alright. Okay, now... Uh, I'm guessing it'll be two cycles, but I may be wrong. I may I may need to do another one. So uh, let's let's do that. So one goes to four. Okay, one goes to four. Four goes to seven. Seven goes to three, and three goes to one. All right. So now you have a a cycle of length four here. Okay. So one four seven three eliminate one. Four, seven, three, and you're left with. Uh, okay, so from left to right, so two. Oh. Ah, now two goes to two, so you won't put that in a cycle, because uh, when uh, when when you have a, s a cycle in a sense of length one, you just ignore it, and if if that, like this number, won't be, will not be mentioned here, and therefore, uh, by convention, you just uh, permute it to itself. Right? So two goes to two, so don't do anything. So we'll forget about that one. Okay. Oh, well, well, look, same comment. Five goes to five, and six goes to six. So we don't even need this second one. That's it. That's that's it. Right, let, me, let me check that. So eight part one. Question eight part one. One four seven three, correct. All right. Uh, all right. Well, I've done I've done the easy ones. Now, um, yeah, this is uh, towards the end of uh, lecture twelve. 
and there are 19 lectures in the whole course uh, so it's definitely into uh, senior level and sometimes it approaches even M1, masters, first year masters level uh, so some of these uh, later later questions are quite theoretical right? you, you can say even that um, some of the homework you know, the exercise uh, questions at the end of each chapter, some of them increasingly are becoming theoretical questions that you could almost put in the theory part of the lecture. So I uh, will, uh, they're, they're in a sense, um, well, they're harder, uh, a lot more theoretical, uh, proof like. So you know, I have the theorem statement and then the proof. So I'll do that in a second uh, session. So, well, I'm not quite run out of the board, but it's an appropriate place to stop. Okay, so I'll come back next session with uh, more theory, uh, theorem type questions.